Growing up in the heart of central Virginia, I was like any other 10-year-old, endlessly captivated by the mysteries of the dense forest surrounding our rural home. It was a place of enchantment, exploration, and a playground for kids like me. The story I'm about to share, however, is far from the idyllic adventures one might imagine in the woods. One sunny day, my best friend and I stumbled upon a hidden gem, a pristine creek, concealed within the labyrinth of deer trails crisscrossing the woods. This wasn't your average creek, it was a paradise waiting to be explored. The water was clear, cool, and devoid of the usual forest perils like copperheads and mosquitoes. It didn't take long for our youthful excitement to bubble over. We swam, laughed, and played until the sun began its descent. We had to return home, but we made plans to come back the next day, equipped with a picnic to savor a full day at our newfound haven. The following day, our adventure began with a picnic in the same spot we had left the creek. We were in high spirits, joking and playing as kids do. But little did we know, this was the calm before the storm, our plan was to follow the same path into the woods and retrace our steps to the creek. However, as we ventured deeper into the forest, things took an eerie turn. The woods grew darker and colder, and an unsettling feeling crept over us. My friend kept glancing nervously behind us. Sensing that something wasn't right, after about half an hour, we stumbled upon an inexplicable sight, a derelict bathroom, completely overgrown with ivy. We decided to brush it off with humor and coined it Bigfoot's bathroom, assuming it was just one of the bizarre forest oddities. Little did we know, this was just the beginning of our eerie journey. The following day, our adventure began with a picnic in the same spot we had left the creek. We were in high spirits, joking and playing as kids do. But little did we know, this was the calm before the storm, our plan was to follow the same path into the woods and retrace our steps to the creek. However, as we ventured deeper into the forest, things took an eerie turn. The woods grew darker and colder, and an unsettling feeling crept over us. My friend kept glancing nervously behind us, sensing that something wasn't right. After about half an hour, we stumbled upon an inexplicable sight, a derelict bathroom, completely overgrown with ivy. We decided to brush it off with humor and coined it Bigfoot's bathroom, assuming it was just one of the bizarre forest oddities. Little did we know, this was just the beginning of our eerie journey, as darkness descended, my situation took a terrifying turn. I stumbled upon Bigfoot's bathroom once again, realizing I had walked in a massive circle. Confusion and frustration overwhelmed me. I screamed in frustration, hoping my friend might hear me, suddenly, I heard the footsteps closing in from behind. I called out for my friend, but there was no response. The footsteps quickened, and I felt a surge of adrenaline. I sprinted away in the opposite direction, away from whatever was chasing me, the most unsettling part of this harrowing experience was yet to come. In the pitch-black forest, I heard what seemed like distant church bells ringing. I looked up to witness a colossal, inky cloud, so dark it felt like staring into a void. The dark gray surroundings seemed to swirl and twist. The sound of the bells was deafening, emanating from a hole in the center of the cloud. The overwhelming dread I felt was indescribable. It was as if something beyond comprehension awaited within that ominous cloud. My instinct screamed at me to flee from the cloud, where I would vanish forever. I couldn't risk going towards the pursuing presence either. So, with a sharp turn, I ran in the opposite direction, blindly racing through the woods, I crashed through branches, wheezing, and stumbling in the dark. It felt like an eternity, but eventually, I collided with something low and was thrown to the ground. Gasping for breath, I realized I could no longer hear the bells, as my eyes adjusted to the darkness, I discovered that I had fallen over an old fence. Clinging to it, I hoped it would lead me to safety. My prayers were answered as I followed the fence, which eventually led me to a farm. I climbed a hill. And a kind farmer gave me a ride back home, it was well past 9 p.m. when I finally arrived home, battered, bruised, and covered in scratches. My friend had returned home shortly after our split and assumed I had too. My family, accustomed to my adventures, hadn't yet realized I was missing. 
I often wonder how long they would have waited to search for me had I not found that fence, and if it would have been too late, my childhood ordeal in the woods was a nightmarish experience that has stayed with me throughout my life. It serves as a stark reminder of the mysteries and dangers that can lurk in the heart of the wilderness, and the importance of staying vigilant, even in familiar surroundings. As we look back on such chilling stories, we can't help but wonder about the inexplicable events and entities that exist in the world, hidden just beyond our comprehension.